Good evening, welcome to We Repair. Um, so today I'm working on a uh, Apple time capsule. This is obviously quite an old model. Um, I can't even see if I can see this is A1254. Um, you can obviously see a little sticker on here saying not working, no power. Uh, these models were quite well known for having power supply failures. Um, used to get bad capacitors in theirs in these power supplies and that's generally the root cause of it. Um, I've gone ahead and pre-ordered a new power supply and I'm just going to wing it and we're going to get the replacement done today. So before I start, um, major thing to note, this base is pretty much just glued on, there's nothing you can do. Um, the only thing you can do is heat it up, um, hairdryer technique will work. Um, if you've got a heat gun that will work, you just have it on very low um, and it'll probably take you about five minutes to heat it up. So I'm going to get that done. I have a heat plate off camera, so I'm just going to get that done and then we'll be back in a minute to uh, continue our working. Right, so this is nice and hot. I have already begun to loosen it, so mine is going to come off quite easily. Um, I did, if I can even see it, tear it somewhere. Um, just a little bit there. You can just see I've torn it just a little bit there. Um, it is quite a pain to get out. Um, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to release all of these millions of screws. And just this bit might be the right size. Yes, it is. They are all the same length as far as I remember. So actually, you can do a super speedy job of undoing them all. And not worry about mixing them up. I probably haven't done one of these for a good five or six years. But the process of actually repairing them is really straightforward and simple. It doesn't take any time whatsoever. Let's pop that off to one side, just make sure I haven't missed any. Okay. So, as I said, this just lifts out. Oop, forgot about that. There's obviously a fan attached, so be careful, don't just do what I did. Um, so we are going to get this out now. Um, I've got a feeling it's screwed in at a couple of points, but I can't remember. It's been so long. There we go, yeah. So hard drive needs to be disconnected first. So power. Oh, sorry, SATA and power, just to make our lives a bit easier. And the motherboard. And then hopefully this will more or less lift out now. There we go. So that is our old piece out. We'll pop that off to one side. We've got our new one. So just be careful of the capacitors. Don't poke your fingers in at the end, otherwise you're going to electrocute yourself. And hopefully this should more or less slot back in. He says, whilst probably swearing at it. <laughs> there we go. So let's slot that in there. Go, yeah, my little monkey. There we are. That's fitted. And we'll do all of our power as well. So let's just untangle our cables a little bit, just to make our lives easier. So motherboard power. And then you can lift your hard drive up a bit if you need to to get the power lead in. That's in. That's in. So let's just make sure everything is all good. It's fully down. Cool. Happy days. Right. So let's now fit this case cameras back to life. So uh, all I've done is drop the case back on. Everything should snug up just nicely, which it is. <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll just put a couple of screws in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. These are my balls. So I stick a couple of screws in here just to hold everything. And then we'll flip it over and we'll do a test. I like to do all the corners just to uh, make sure everything's nice and secure. And last corner. And then what we'll do is we'll power it on and see what happens. And hopefully we'll get some life out of this. Right, so means power in. Hey, I don't know if you can see that. We got a little light there now. So that's great. This is um, more than likely repaired. What I will do um, off camera, I'll do a proper test of it and make sure it does actually work. I wasn't getting that orange light before, so I would say that's probably a success. Um, so the only things that I've got to do now, get the last screws in and pop the base back on. Um, 
I will say about this is there's not really any way you can secure this. Uh, your options pretty much are some kind of double-sided double sticky tape or hot glue. Um, either way, it's going to be a massive pain in the bum. So normally there's the adhesive isn't great on the bottom, but it will hold. So if you're a bit like me and you're just going to stick it somewhere on a side forever and it's never going to move, then the realities probably are you're not going to need to do much more than just stick the base back on and hope for the best. Um, so all in all, I'm pleased with that. As I say, I will test it off camera. If I do find any other issues, I will, uh, I'll make another video um, so you can see the problems I've had. But to be honest with you, um, it was described as just not working because of power. So I would have thought that actually it will probably be fine. And I would imagine that someone else's data is going to be on this as well. But I am going to very much wipe it before I use it. So there you go. Uh, but anyway, if you like the video, you found it useful, please drop me a like, leave me a comment. If you want to know where I've got the parts, then please ask and I will comment back. If you want to know what tools I've used, then ask that as well. And I will do my best to answer all of your questions. But hopefully I shall see you in the next video and thanks for watching.